Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Today, inshallah, we're going to solve the practice questions on topic one, measurements and uncertainty. Um, we had solved this question before during the class uh, time. I'm going to uh, do it again in video. Uh, this is one of uh, previous exam question, paper two. The question says, here we have a photograph below, shows a magnified image of a dark central desk surrounded by uh, concentric dark rings. These rings were produced as a result of interference of monochromatic light. Monochromatic light, it means one color light, red, blue, any color, one color. So here the graph shows uh, uh, the graph below shows how the ring's diameter, the diameter of the ring, varies with the number of rings. The innermost ring correspond to N1, so here this one is N1, here N2, and so on. So diameter increase as the number of N increased. So here we draw a relationship between the diameter in centimeter and the number of rings. As the number of rings increase, also diameter increase. Uh, first question, use this graph to calculate the percentage uncertainty in the diameter, in the diameter, when uh, ring equals in diameter square, in not diameter, in percent, calculate the percentage uncertainty, here is the question, calculate the percentage uncertainty, I think, in D square. Yes, in D square, percentage uncertainty in D square. So we're going to use this graph to find the percentage uncertainty and this one in D square, not D. D square. Okay, now how can we find? This is a power. To find the percentage uncertainty, we have to find the absolute uncertainty divided by the original value. And since we have a power, we bring the power out. So, percentage uncertainty, it means the fractional uncertainty fractional uncertainty divided by the original and since we have two we bring it out okay i have to find the absolute uncertainty first at n equal seven so here this is n equal seven absolute uncertainty is the length of error bar the length of error bar here Okay, so here the scale is 0.2 and I have five squares. So each square, each square will represent 0.2 divided by five will give me 0.04 centimeter. And here I have around one and almost two squares. So two squares times 0.04, I have two squares multiply by 0.04. So the length here, the length from here till here, this will represent the absolute uncertainty. This will give me 0.08. So this value will be 2 times 0.08 divided by the value of the diameter at n equals 7. Here we go and read this one here. So the value of the diameter, it will be around, this is 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 uh, it's a little bit higher than 1.4, 1.24, 1 1.26. So around 1.26. Because it's 
one square is, uh, we said one square is 0.04, it's more than um, um, one square and a half, almost one square and a half. Uh, so it will be less than a half, it's 1.26. 1, 1, 1. So this value will give me 0.13. Percentage uncertainty, convert this one to percent, so it's around 13%. Okay, now, theory suggests that diameter square equal constant times number of rings. You have a graph of d square, d square, again it's n is shown below, error bars are shown for the first and last data only, so I have a first and last uh, data only, data points only. Based on this graph, state one piece of evidence that supports the relationship d square equals k times n, now it's a, it's a straight line, and this straight line, it's, if I extend it, it's, it's passed through the origin and it passes through all the error bars. So it's, it's a, a relationship. D square, it's Y axis, N, it's X axis, and K will be the gradient or the slope. OK, same question. Use the same graph to determine the value of the constant K. K is the slope. And I need also the uncertainty in the slope. So I'm going to find the slope rise over run. Rise over run. So if I take the first point, this one, and this is the last point, this will be my run. So my run is a 12 minus 1. And the rise will be from here till I go till this point here this point here. OK. Now this is 0.5 divided by 5.5 divided by 5. It will give me 0.1. So each square represent 0.1. Here I have uh, uh, two square and a half. So this point is 0.25. And this point here This point here, it's I have uh, 2.6, 2.7, 2 2.7. So the difference between them, 2.7 minus 0.25 divided by 12 minus 1. So rise over run k, the slope or the gradient, the slope or the gradient k will be rise over run will be uh, 2.7 minus 0.25 divided by 12 minus 1, and this will give me 0.22. I need to find the uncertainty now. To find the uncertainty, I have to find the maximum slope minus minimum slope divided by 2. First, we need to find maximum slope. We have to find the maximum slope. So let's clean just this mess here. OK. Maximum slope, maximum it means the steepest slope. How can I how can I get the steepest slope? You connect the maximum point here, the upper point, with the lower point here. So this one will be the maximum gradient. Okay. Now I need to find the coordinate for this point and the coordinate for this point. The coordinate for this, we said each one is 0.1. So this point here, I have one almost 0.1 and um, a little bit higher than uh, half. So this point is around 0.17. And I need the coordinate of this point, this one here. OK, so uh, this point, it's around almost a three, a little bit higher than three. It could be um, 
three and it's half. It's almost. Let me check. It's almost half. Um, half a square, so it's 3.3.05. 3.05, so it will be 3.05 minus 0.17 divided by 12 minus 111. So the maximum slope, maximum slope, let's do it here. M maximum will be 3.05 minus 0.17 divided by 11. Um, let's calculate this one. 3.05 minus 0.17 divided by 11 will give me 0 0.26. 0 0.26. Okay, centimeter square. This is the unit. The unit of the slope from here. I have centimeter square and this one is no unit. So the unit will be centimeter square. Now, minimum slope, minimum slope, minimum slope, the same graph now. Let's just clean up. Minimum slope is less steep as a slope line. So it will be, it will be this one. So if I connect this with this, these points together, I should get M minimum. So I need to find the coordinate for this point, this point, and I need also to find the coordinate for this one. Find the difference between them. So, and this will give me the uh, steepest, the uh, uh, least steep slope. So this point is around, is one, one point down, so it will be 2.4. And this one I have, I have one, two, three, three and a half, three and a half, so it will be 0 0.35. The difference between them divided by 11 will give me M minimum. So minimum slope will be 2.40 minus 0 0.35 divided by 11. And this will give me 0 0.19. The difference between them, it will give me the uncertainty. So the uncertainty will be 0 0.26 minus 0 0.19 divided by 2. So 0 0.26 minus 0 0.19 divided by 2. After I round it, it will give me 0 0.04. Round it also always to one significant figure and the unit centimeter square the unit also for k it's centimeter square so k when i write it i will write the value of the slope or the gradient 0 0.22 positive or negative 0 0.04 unit centimeter square that's it